Viber from SQL team is not able to reach SQL FTP server, but his team members Chetan and Pratik are able to access the server. So he has raised a ticket with the local IT team to solve the issue, and you are responsible to solve this issue since you are the member of the local IT team. So guys, this is Amar, and welcome to Amar Tech Stuff, and we'll try to solve this ticket in this video. So from the ticket itself, it is very clear that Vibovs, who have a PC with IP address of 20.1.1.100, is not able to access the FTP server, which is having an IP address of 20.1.1.200. So this is the issue. So source and destination are very much clear here. The tickets, as also mentioned in the ticket, that his colleagues Chetan and Pratik are able to access that SQL server, but but from this only from this PC, the SQL server, the SQL FTP server is not accessible. So let's check what is happening with this PC. So this is Vibov's PC. From Vibov's PC, let us do FTP to 20.1.1.200. You can see here it is trying to reach the FTP server, trying to connect the FTP server, but uh, it is getting timed out. Uh, error is coming while opening this FTP services on this particular server. Let's try to at least ping that server 20.1.1.200. And you can see guys that we are not even able to ping that server. So there's some issue with this particular PC maybe because uh, the other two guys are able to ping. I checked those two from those two guys. So this was Chetan's PC and you can see that, you know, that from Chetan's PC, we are able to ping 20.1.1.200. Uh, we can even try to do the FTP and you can see we are even able to do the FTP. Uh, from Pratik's PC also, I tried it. Uh, and I was able to ping. So there's some issue with Vibov's PC. So let's focus on that. What else you can check from a PC? You know, you have, we have tried to access FTP. We checked it is not ac accessible. Uh, what else things from a PC perspective we can uh, we can check? Uh, there are a few things which we can check. Uh, one thing is the immediate thing which we can check is the IP address of of the PC. So let's check the IP address. So now the command to check the IP address in Windows machine or in Windows desktop is IP config. Now here you can see the IP address is 20.1.1.100 and the subnet marks is 255.255.255.0 which is slash 24. Now let's check whether this IP address is in the correct, uh, what do you say, the correct uh, subnet or not uh, to verify that we can just take a reference from Chetan's PC and just verify it so I'll just give IP config over here he's having 20.1.1.51 he's having 20.1.1.100 that is that is okay and the subnet marks is same uh, here in both the pieces we can see there is no default gateway and default gateway is not required because the destination FTP server 20.1.1.200 and all these pieces which are in blue, they are in the same VLAN. So we do not need uh, the default gateway because default gateway is required when the uh, when the source want to communicate outside its VLAN or outside its subnet. So that is that is fine. That is why Bob is having correct uh, IP address settings. Then what is the issue? Uh, practically, if you talk about such kind of issues, uh, what and local IT guy can do is he can check this particular cable which is getting connected to the hub. Now here in packet tracer you can see that it is green showing green at both the end that means the cable is okay and that is fine the physical verification is, is okay that the physical connectivity between hub and Viber is fine. Now where can we start troubleshooting then? We have started troubleshooting from here. Where can we move ahead with the troubleshooting? Now, you can see guys that uh, this PC is able to access, this PC is able to access, this PC is not able to access. Now, all these three PCs have been connected to this hub. Now, one thing what you can do is, you can check this hub, maybe physically. You maybe check check this hub's uh, a physical status of this port or something like that you know cable and everything what you can check 
or uh, you can check whether something is wrong with this particular hub but the thing is that this hub is uh, this is a layer one device and it is not manageable so the other option you have is to log in into this device that is the switch to and check particularly in switch to you will check this particular interface fast ethernet 0 slash 6 because that is the interface which is getting connected to the hub so let's let's log into the switch and try to check the configuration of fast ethernet 0 slash 6 so i'm just trying to log into the switch so this is my switch 2 and i'll check the configuration of fast ethernet 0 slash 6 now you can see guys this is the configuration of fast ethernet 0 slash uh, 6 uh, where it is saying that it is switch port mode access VLAN 20 switch port mode access so it's an access port and member of VLAN 20 so that is fine because uh, as we told that you know all this all this uh, switches uh, all this sorry all these PCs are on the member of uh, VLAN 20 this is our VLAN 20 and that is fine it should be member of VLAN 20 so that is good now what else configuration we have on this switch is switch port security is enabled on this switch that is fine switch port security maximum to switch port security violation restrict so this means that maximum two it means that if it can have uh, that port can have maximum of two endpoints connecting to it and uh, they will be able to communicate that is maximum of two mac addresses will be allowed to be loaned on that particular interface fine and the other command that this command means that switch port security violation restrict this means that if if more than two or if third mac address is is trying to communicate it won't be allowing a third MAC addresses MAC address won't be allowed to communicate the switch port can learn up to only two MAC addresses okay so that may be a reason why we are not able to see the communication between Swibos PC and the SQL FTP server so let's check what all MAC addresses are getting learned here now you can see here guys that two MAC addresses are learned over here. Let me show you though. These are the MAC addresses I've already mentioned here. So the one which is ending with 2CE4. This is 2CE4 is of Chetan's PC and 0DCE is of uh, Pratik's PC. So that is fine. So this is the, these are the two MAC addresses which are getting learned. But for Vivo's PC, the MAC address is not getting learned simply because you know only two MAC addresses are allowed to communicate so what we can do is uh, we can change the configuration so let us change that a small configuration changes we do it and then we will check what is going to happen so what i'll do is i'll go into interface fast ethernet 0 slash 6 switch port uh, port security maximum What I can do is I can give a maximum of 132 uh, MAC addresses to be loaned on that port. I can keep any number uh, between uh, between 3 and 132. So what I do here, I'll just keep 3 because I don't want many more PCs to be added to that hub and then getting communicated. So I just keep 3 over here. And now we will check guys we will just access Vibhav's PC or we will call up Vibhav and tell him to at least ping 20.1.1.200 and you can see here guys now we are able to ping we will just check the MAC address yes we are able to see MAC address as well uh, now it is this is the MAC address of Vibhav's PC it is ending with 3 double e 7 and here is the MAC address of Vibhav's PC 3 double e 7 so this is how uh, we have tried to approach and solve this issue we'll also try to do ftp 20.1.1.200 yes we are able to uh, 
login into that FTP as well. We are able to access the FTP services of that server as well. So guys, this is what I actually wanted to show you in this particular uh, video and wanted to actually build an approach uh, for troubleshooting any uh, any switching related issues so I try to bring up such videos uh, so here the approach was very clear that this particular PC was not able to access so we tried to check for this particular PC uh, the IP address configuration the cable of this then anything is wrong with this hub or not that which we will check and then uh, we will check uh, this particular switch and we, we we focused on this particular interface because this is the interface which was getting connected uh, to the hub so so this is what we tried to uh, tried to build an approach and a troubleshoot the ticket so hopefully guys you would have liked this ticket like this video if you really like this video guys please do like and comment on this video and before ending this video i'll request you all to please subscribe my channel amar tech stuff i'll catch up in the next video till then bye thanks and take care